Hello, my name is PV Subramanyam. I am a software professional. The last seven years I am focusing on organic farming and uh, natural farming practices. Today we are in the form of uh, owned by Mr. Ajay Kumar and he has a mango garden. Last year our experience shows that we are suffering from black thrips and a lot of management has to be done and that could not be controlled. This year what we plan is to plant the host plantation like chili, bendy, where black thrips will fall on them first. So instead of managing black thrips on a, a 20 feet mango tree, what we are trying to do is bring them down to a ground level where we can manage it by planting host plants. In this what we have done is we have planted chilies and we also have planted bendies there. Basically they will attract the black thrips and here we using organic practices we just manage them sometimes we kill them and eliminate them. So in this model mango crops can be protected and management of black thrips will be beneficial to all the mango farmers. Similarly a normal practice is what we do is we we'll remove all the weed and in summer we keep, keep the land barren. So what happens is the temperature, the heat is absorbed by land and land gets torn. The best way to manage the land is to keep the weed as it is in summer so that the green cover on the land will reduce the heat and thus save the insects which are required by the biosystem and protect the land, conserve the soil fertility for us. So please do not remove the weed in summer so that we can use, as, use it as a green mulch. The heat radiation which is protected by the green cover will prevent the flower dropping in chili plants. This particular model will save a lot of uh, rather will benefit the farmer because the flower dropping in, in chili is uh, it always considered to be a bad problem for the farmer. All these practices were fin finally synthesized and then taught to us by Sri Subramanya Rasgaru who is a consultant for all these organic farming practices for us as well as Ajay Kumarji. And as part of that he is maintaining an integrated uh, farm management system practices in which he is having a dairy in which we have around 12 gir uh, cows and we have few of the cows and the way he is growing them is he is actually giving them only organic food particularly the green food what is grown inside the garden so that the the inputs are always maintained pristine and they are all organic and the milk that comes out is 100% organic it is guaranteed by his practices. Now the primary purpose of this uh, Girko dairy farm here is to supply the inputs for the rest of the garden. He has got an 18 acre garden here in which he is making Jeevamrutam, Panchikavyam and all products of uh, cow for the farming and for all that these 12 are ser serving the purpose of uh, are providing the inputs that are required. Okay, thank you. Marini updates Kosam STV YouTube channel subscribe to Skondi.